Now, I think that we could all universally agree here of what's been going on with all the divisions over at the Walt Disney Company. Both Marvel Studios and Lucasfilm, as far as I'm concerned, really have it the worst in comparison to Pixar, Walt Disney Animation Studios, and even among others that Disney handles. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that we have individuals like Kathleen Kennedy and Kevin Feige really leading Marvel and Star Wars into a deep abyss. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So, showrunner and director Leslie Headland. All right, I have said this multiple times, but she is far more extreme than Kathleen Kennedy ever will be when it comes to her overall agenda. That's exactly why Kathleen Kennedy felt that she was the perfect DEI hire because. Basically, Hedlund is taking it to extreme levels when it involves the Acolyte series. Now, as we discussed a couple of days ago, there has been recent fallout between Hedlund and the Disney heads regarding her multi-million dollar contract with Marvel, with Star Wars, and the many projects that she lost, that she was fired and removed from, that dwindled her down to simply the Acolyte and another spin-off show. But what's interesting about all this moving forward has a lot to do with Hedlund and the necessary steps that she's taking in her view against those like Bob Iger and the rest over at Disney. Now, I've said this also before in the past that Hedlund should have never been hired in the first place. She is the very wrong hire from the very get-go there over at Lucasfilm to handle anything Star Wars. She's not fit for Star Wars. She, ne she will never understand what the philosophy is all about and so on and so forth. However, with that being said and all, Moving onwards here with both Marvel Studios and Lucasfilm as two of the most failed divisions at the Walt Disney Company right now. One major development now involves showrunner and director Leslie Hedlund of the Acolyte series after the fallout when Disney decided to remove and fire her from numerous Star Wars and Marvel projects after the Acolyte received record-breaking backlash from Star Wars fans and even, get this, non-Star Wars fans as well. Now, one significant update to this entire situation now involves what Leslie Hedlund plans to do against those like Bob Iger and the many other executives at Disney. Already Hedlund is now taking certain legal steps against those like Bob Iger after Disney reportedly broke her contract which included a 10 project deal that would serve as a multi-million dollar deal as both a director and writer for both Star Wars and Marvel. Now already Hedlund is reportedly blaming Disney on wrongfully firing one who was affiliated with the LGBTQ community as of herself, and that is of course part of Hedlund's drive to take a legal step against Disney unless they reinstate her projects for 2025, 26, and even 27. Hedlund is also looking into taking legal action against Marvel Studios as she was initially promised several Marvel Phase 7 projects as a director and co-writer to handle the new era of Marvel. However, Hedlund's main focus right now is on Lucasfilm since this is reportedly where most of her pay was going to come from as Bob Iger initially promised her to take part in some planned Star Wars movies that would support their DEI agenda that Hedlund was going to take care of. Now, one of the main Star Wars films that Leslie was going to join was James Mangold's Star Wars movie focusing on the birth of the Force and the First Jedi. Bob had Iger, of course, and how he had promised her that she would hop on board as a co-writer and also take part in directing some scenes to promote their DEI agenda for the planned 2027 Star Wars film. Hedlund is already of course warning Disney that she is preparing to, to actually gather up a legal team to go against the corporate ladder at Disney after she was fired from the many Star Wars and Marvel projects. Now as of now, she is only attached to promoting the Acolyte and directing and writing one Acolyte spin-off series. However, her second season of the Acolyte was cancelled altogether. Another major factor that is leading Hedlund to taking legal steps against Disney is that she was promised to get a significant promotion at Lucasfilm, one of which would be bringing her up as Vice President of Lucasfilm, replacing the current one in the next two years or so. This was a Kathleen Kennedy decision in the beginning that Bob Iger later supported. And with Iger making multiple decisions to save his last two years as CEO, this is already creating tensions between Kathleen and Iger. 
another project that Hedlum was fired and removed from was going to be a Star Wars series that was going to essentially, get this, reset many canon pieces of the Star Wars prequel trilogy and was going to be Hedlum taking on the original story idea of Star Wars Underworld by George Lucas back in 2007. So let me just, you know, say one thing about this, guys, before I move on, is the fact that she was going to take over a plan that Disney was going to move forward with by resurrecting a George Lucas original Star Wars TV show back in 2007, Star Wars Underworld. I don't know if you guys knew about this. There's test footage leaked online. Go ahead and check it out from years ago. Basically, Hedlund was going to take over the resurrection of that show and was going to do it in her own fashion, her own way of handling the series, the way it would be written and directed, etc., etc. And Underworld was basically George Lucas's vision of combining Blade Runner and Star Wars to mainly focus on the world of Coruscant post Revenge of the Sith storyline. So that, of course, is not Hedlund material. That was never meant to be Hedlund material. It is all supposed to be catered to George Lucas. And that's, I think, another reason why it would have failed in the long run. I think that they dodged a huge bullet there. But let's be honest, guys. Star Wars is dead in the water. I don't see it recovering anytime soon. I mean, we got movies coming out like the Ray movie. We've got another movie coming out by James Mangold. One who terribly failed at creating another Indiana Jones film, mind you. Because he agreed with everything that Disney wanted him to do he agreed with Kathleen Kennedy and everything that she wanted to do with that film and I still to this day don't understand why Mangold is still affiliated with creating a Star Wars movie now but we'll have to wait and see how that turns out so overall of course not just that not only was Hedlund dropped from the show that was going to be Star Wars Underworld but it was also canceled shortly after the drama had sparked now, Disney, of course, board of directors are already frazzled over Hedlund's legal warnings and are pressuring Iger to reinstate her projects, to just take a chance and risk to see how she performs at least in the Star Wars world. But all do agree that she should not be involved in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So all board of directors do not want her involved in that realm, which I think is a good call because look, Marvel 2023 was terrible. I mean, everything that we saw with all the box office failures was definitely record-breaking. And you don't want to see anything like that again. Now, 2025 is not going to be a recovery for Marvel. Already looking at Captain, Marvel, uh, Captain America 4 is already becoming a disaster. And Blade Runner 2025 is also running into many different challenges. So, for Leslie Headland to make these demands to have such an egotistical mind to the degree of making these legal warnings and this plan to sue Disney is just ludicrous. It just goes to show you how out of touch with reality people like Kathleen Kennedy are, people like Leslie Headland truly are, and it's never going to stop as long as they are there. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.